Hi, my name is Dr. Anuja Agarwal and I am the Associate Dean Technology Management at the Mukesh Patel School of Technology Management and Engineering, NMIMS University. I want to talk to you regarding a unique program that NMIMS University offers. This program is called the MBA Tech Program, which is a five-year integrated dual degree program which allows the students to take up concurrent degrees in engineering as well as management. Just to give you a little background why we started this program, uh, so it is not a very new program. NMIMS University was a pioneering university uh, where we started the program in 2004 uh, with the vision that as time passes by, the companies would require managers who have a good technical background because as you are aware, most of the businesses are trying to leverage on technology to make their business goals. A pure play management graduate may or may not have those technical skills to be able to do that. So every company was looking at people who could, who had their hands dipped into technology, whether you call it analytics or you call it artificial intelligence or you call it other newer um, engineering fields and then leverage those technical acumen along with the business sense and the managerial competence in them. So sometimes a question arises in students mind, how relevant is a dual degree program for you? And students sometimes also feel that will it be too much of a burden if they are doing concurrent degrees? So let me assure you that doing a very technical heavy uh, degree which is engineering uh, and on top of it when you do your management studies with it actually brings a very different aura to the whole education. While you're doing engineering, uh, sometimes you try, you get too much bored in, because it has a lot of technical aspects and you sometimes tend to lose what is happening in the world. So the management aspect uh, along with the engineering gives the student a much bigger domain to think about. So when he starts reading the economic times while he's still in second year of engineering and when he starts understanding the principles of management, he understands what is the business value of his engineering degree, right? He gets to know so much more about the world. He gets to know so much more about the business environment around him that he finds that he finds much more value in his own technical education and how can he add value to the economy of the country. That uh, is a very important aspect. Sometimes students also wonder uh, that instead of doing a concurrent two degrees, would it be better to do two degrees one after the other. So my limited point there is that you might like to consider is that when you are doing two separate degrees, you have to first finish your first degree and then there is some amount of anxiety that comes in saying, okay, what do I do after, uh, after my first degree is over? Should I get into management? Should I continue my technical education or should I, should I do it from one institute or the other? The beauty about a dual degree program is in any case, most of the engineering graduates tend to go towards management studies. Here, right in the beginning, your focus is clear. You know that, yes, I need my technical education, which is the engineering ed education to make my base stronger. And on top of it, I build my management education to increase my horizon of thought. So you do not have to go through the anxiety of reappearing for competitive exams, looking for other arenas. The best part, one more thing that I want to say is the best part about these dual degree programs from NMIMS University is that NMIMS was always known to be at the forefront of management education. After all, this university is more than 38 years old now and the, it has been known for its uh, best practices in management education. So the moment you bring those best practices in management education to and club it with the engineering education, the final package is much more than 1 plus 1 equal to 111, I should say. Another advantage of the MBA Tech program, which integrates three main pillars of education. One is engineering, of course. The other is management. And the third pillar is technology. So as you are aware, technology means application of your engineering acumen to make some purpose. So with these three pillars being covered very well in the MBA Tech program in such a manner that uh, it allows the students to use his engineering acumen to develop new products or services on the basis of the innovation uh, in inputs which are given during the program to him. And if he chooses, not only can he become an entrepreneur, he can even become an entrepreneur and go into companies and help them 
uh, grow their own businesses in an innovative way. So this unique combination of engineering plus technology and management comes only when you are doing it in an integrated fashion. You will not be able to get this cohesiveness if you were doing pursuing this in three different domains. Some of the skills that I would like to share with you uh, that the students of MBA tech program develop over a period of time, of course, they're technical skills, which is if you're taking MBA tech in chemical engineering, so all the skills which are there in a normal chemical engineer, you have them. All the, if you're doing an MBA tech in IT or computer engineering, all the skills which are required for coding, algorithm development, machine learning, artificial intelligence, all those of course will be there with you. In addition, because innovation is a core compulsory course within this MBA tech program, it allows you to try new things, different things which add much more value to society. The business education along with this helps you create business plans around your offerings. So this in all makes you a very complete person, multi-skilled because as you're also aware these days jobs keep changing. It's a very dynamic business environment. It always helps any person today to have multiple skills. So you can harp to say I have engineering skills whenever the job demands. Uh, you can also harp on to say besides my engineering skills, I also have managerial skills. So I will be able to help you manage technology in your organization. I also have the business acumen and therefore I can leverage the technology to, to make your business goals meet. And that way you become a very valuable employee for any organization. It is also very important for you all to know that a good combination for future for any student uh, if he is seriously trying to pursue a professional career is that he has to have some base technical ground in which is very sound and which is required in the future uh, which can contribute to the economy of the country and one way of doing that is uh, use your technical education and also learn the business acumen. The moment you do that there are companies lining up in any even now for the MBA tech program we get more than 120 companies on board which are looking for this talent which can help leverage technology for making their business goals. So the career path for a student who comes out of this program he starts like a management trainee and then he can be placed in any department where they are feeling that they want a technology base to any of the managerial skills. One thing uh, that you will also note that whether it is marketing, whether it is any kind of finance, in finance most of the trading is now done using algorithmic training, trading. Financial technologies, fintech is what we call. Fintech field is open for those students who have a technology background and then they understand the finance domain. Likewise, marketing analytics is the main reason why the many companies are uh, get, getting inroads into capturing so many markets. Even in HR, if you say people analytics, analytics is something that will require acumen of analytics, technology and how do you uh, make sense of it with uh, human resources in the company around. So that way, all in all, there's a great career prospect for a student who does this dual degree integrated program for, from NMIMS, which you call the MBA tech program. So in future also the MBA tech program is slated to grow much more and at, at an orbital speed. Uh, one of the things that we are adding uh, to this program is a new innovation center where the students will be given the opportunity to experiment with their ideas and their concepts. So the technical project that almost every engineering student does here the difference is the student will do it with inputs on design thinking and innovation. He will take use the labs of engineering to experiment his ideas, develop concepts and then develop business ideas on those concepts and take it further. The NMIMS University already has an utter incubation center. Therefore, these students can then take advantage of entering into the incubation center, incub get incubated for two, three, two or three years and then move on as a startup on their own. Another thing that we are wanting to do and uh, uh, already doing to some extent is bringing internationalization in our program. We are trying to make it truly global. We already have tie-ups with certain international universities in the US and Australia where the students can actually go and spend a, a semester or even go there for a year and obtain one more MS degree which is integrated in this program. As time passes by, we are also uh, going to do a lot of other international linkages with other universities. 
we want to bring a total global perspective uh, in this program so that the student not only is complete in his three pillars of engineering, technology and management, but the fourth pillar which is globalization and international networking should be his core. And that is what will become the new USP of the MBA Tech program. In the end, we welcome you all young and bright students of India to the NMIMS experience in the technology and management domain. All the best.